Hi guys, I'm the Missionary Man. And I'm Greckles. And welcome to the Clash of Champions Tournament Preview. Now, the Clash of Champions Tournament was created by Chris Hayes and is hosted by Tom Garrett and 70M Game in Bellevue, Nebraska. And I did want to make mention that this is the first official non-charity League of Legends only event. There is expected to be at least 14 teams with additional teams allowed to sign up at the door. Today, we will be discussing three main points. One, tournament organization. Two, power picks and players. And three, top champion picks and uh, team compositions. But before we get into the nitty gritty details, I would like to also just take a second and uh, remind everyone that the casting that we will be doing is 100% uh, free and any donations made will go directly to charity. You can follow me at twitch.tv slash demissionaryman. Starting off the preview, I'd like to talk about the tournament organization and how Chris Hayes has chosen that this tournament is going to be Swiss. We're going to be doing four rounds, so from there we're going to be able to determine our seeds and from there we're also going to have four place finishes. We're going to have first, which is going to start off with $600 in winnings, the Triumphant Rise skin for only Riot sponsored tournaments, and a following prize with 3200 RP each. Second place, still amazing, $300, everyone's made everything that they spent to get here back, receives 2400 RP, and then third place itself. We receive one hundred dollars each. Well, one hundred dollars while each player receives sixteen hundred RP. The fourth place team will receive eight hundred RP player or per player also. Next, uh, we will be discussing the top teams coming into the tournament based off of previous tournaments uh, at seven AM game. Now, the team that is most likely to come out with a strong punch will be ATP or Annie's Tea Party. For sure. Now, this team has won the last two League of Legends events at 70M game, only dropping two best of one games over their whole career. Now, rumor has it that they will uh, that they actually have recruited a Diamond One marksman that has very strong synergy with their veteran support, Das Long. The second uh, power team to watch out for will be Oven Pizza GG. Now, they placed third at the last tournament, but was the only team to take a one-sided victory off ATP over the last two uh, years. Now, the point of interest with this team, uh, however, is that they have been struggling to uh, finalize a roster. So, this could mean that they do not have much experience playing together. And my final power pick today will have to be Healy's Wheelies. They have made impressive showings at the last two years of tournaments at 7 a.m. game, but have always fallen short to ATP in the playoffs. The point of interest for this team is that they have exceptional shot calling, which gave every team they played against a run for their money. The only downside to this team sometimes is that they uh, can lack a, a high individual skill, which is their downfall when playing against a high mechanically strong team such, like, such as uh, ATP. However, maybe they have reached a new level this year and will dominate the tournament. I would also like to uh, tack on to the end, just throw in an honorable mention to Pro Slayers. Uh, Pro Slayers coming to this tournament will probably be the most uh, practiced team with a very, very solid lineup. All right. Finally, we're going to talk about team comps and the most contested picks of the current meta. Right now, if anybody has been watching the League of Legends Championship Series, OGN, EU, NA, LCS, we're going to know that Nar and Jarvan are some of the big picks. The game right now is set on heavy engage, and right now those are some of the best. Nar in the top lane has the ability of range. Teleport is also big. With low kill pressure, Nar can do just about everything up there. I would also just like to throw in uh, that they have actually gotten their own name. They've almost, uh, as some casters would like to say, fused into one champion. They're now known as Narvin. So be looking out for Narvin. It'll be a fun one to uh, see pulled out at the tournament. It will be. Um, also along with the terms of Heavy Engage, we have Leona, big, big in the bot lane. Same with Sivir. Sivir giving every champion the ability to engage. So right now that's big. Um, other parts of the meta right now are the facts of disengage with champions like Janna and Morgana, both supports, both very utility based. Mm -hmm. We also have pick potentials, 
the assassin meta has changed with the removal of DFG. And then um, roaming supports. Roaming supports are very important right now. Farm is less required on 80 carries as much more as it is pushed towards equally every lane. So it's important to recognize when they're going to be going, helping affecting other lanes. Definitely expect to see a lot of roaming blitz cranks just because he has that movement speed. It can really get to the mid lane before the enemy even knows that he's gone. So definitely something sure. to be looking out for. Um, we're going to go to the power, the power picks for them. So for the top lane, like we mentioned before, Nar is a very big one. Lissandra and Irelia, both big picks. Lissandra complements team comps as being a full AP top, and Irelia is the mixed damage, tank, assassin, everything. Whatever you want to name her. Exactly. Jungle, right now, is Jarvan, Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai should be very interesting to see, just in my personal opinion. And then the new wild card, Nidalee recently was buffed by Riot. So it would be, I want to say, interesting, yet very scary to see what she can do. Um, her new enhanced W, her ability to clear jungle comp, jungle monsters, sorry. And then, um, yeah, it'll be interesting. And then for mid, with also with the removal of DFG, some very still strong picks, such as Ari, she was changed. So it's, uh, she got buffed in the places that she needed just to aid her help. And then uh, LeBlanc, still big. And then, of course, Cassidy. Cassidy hasn't stopped being a power pick for almost two seasons now. It should be good to see. Highly contested. Of course. And then Marksman, our number one for this set is going to be Callista. She has the ability for unlimited damage. So smiting and an objective control is going to be huge. And then our utility, our kind of consistent laner, Graves, is back in the meta. He's tanky enough to do things and... Bursty enough to do more things. There you go. <laughs> so <laughs> all the things. <laughs> exactly. And then our new wild card right now is Tristana. So she had the recent changes. Uh, mm -hmm. Her new E is different. Just the visual update in general gave her a lot of help. Yep. And utility. All right. And then for every AD carry, we need a support. And the big three right now, we have our Morgana, the disengage. Jana, the disengage also. And then Annie. She's recently making a return, so with a ton of heavy engaged, she's a big help. Yeah, and I definitely also just wanted to throw in there and make a uh, mention. I'm personally a uh, support main myself since Season 1, and uh, I would like to throw out there that there's not a whole lot of bad supports at the moment. Riot's done a really good job of balancing the game and making sure that everybody kind of has their role. So also, an, in addition to our top three picks, also you're definitely going to be seeing a lot of Blitzcrank. You're going to be seeing a lot of Thresh. Uh, you'll possibly see a lot of Nami. Um, there's definitely endless possibilities. And I'm really interested to see how all of the team compositions are going to play out with so many champions to choose from. Because, of course, we know that even in the other lanes, our picks do not stop there. Of course. The so, game has uh, never been this open. Yeah, definitely. Um, all right, guys. So now that we've gone over the tournament tournament organization we've gone over some power teams and players and we also went over the top champion picks and team compositions all that's left now is to get some rest and pub stomp your lanes at the tournament now if you did like or appreciate this video uh, make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel follow my facebook page follow my twitch channel and retweet all the things links will be in the description below i gotcha anyway I'm Demissionary Man. And I'm Crackles. And we'll see, see you guys Saturday. Saturday.